Nora is here and she's our patient today and we are going to demonstrate the keyhole pout technique in terms of dermal filler for uh, lip enhancement. And Nora's had lip enhancements uh, in the past and any, any AFE technique that we want to try out, we choose Nora um, to go ahead and try them out. She had a lip enhancement about five months ago, so she is due for her lip enhancement here. So let me, before we go ahead and use any time, kind of topical uh, BLT anesthetic on her lips before we get going, let's go ahead and, uh, and take a look at her lips here. So what she's gotten, and she, and she you know, over time, she's wanted fuller and fuller and fuller lips. So that's what we're going to accomplish today. But take a look at her lips. And again, she's had a number of lip enhancements in the past. Um, she now has re got a really nice defined shape to her lips, uh, which we're actually pretty proud of. We want to go ahead and now add uh, more of a pout on the lower, give her some volume on the upper there as well, and really define the vermilion borders around there too. But what we want to demonstrate with this technique is going to do, be a keyhole pout where she's got a really, really thick pout right here and actually just open for me just a little bit and when she she's going to have two big pillows right here on her lips because we want a nice full pout on the lower and that's going to lift up and create just the tiniest bit of separation when she's at rest between her upper lip and her lower lip and that is what people do want some patients want this thing called the keyhole pout and we'll show you how to go ahead and accomplish that Let's get started with uh, Nora's lip enhancement. We're going to use Juvederm Ultra Plus XC here. We've just put some Comfortox BLT on her lips to get her numb just a little bit. But again, the lidocaine in this syringe is going to provide some uh, some anesthetic as we go through this. I'm going to start with her upper lip first, and then we'll you'll be able to see the keyhole pout on the bottom here. And I'm going to go regular full speed. There's no need on this because most of you watching this are more advanced. So again, open just a little bit for me. I always want to know where my wet dry line is right here. I'm going to go starting all the way at the end. Going to feel a little pinch there, Nora. I'm sorry about that. And we're going to give a good thread of material right there and just kind of work my way around. I'm, I want some volume. So I'm inside the lip here. I'm not at the vermilion border uh, just yet here. I'm right inside the lip. Just going to give her a little bit more right at the apex here. How you doing, Nora? Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Nora is a great, great patient here. And you can see how I volumized this already. This actually needs a little less volume than this over here. I'll roll that out in just a minute, and I'm just going to maintain my same position. I'm going to go right here. Hang in there, Nora. You're doing great. And this really should be, I'm going to start right at the apex here and work my way down. And you're going to see, and that's going to give her some nice volume because this is the Juvederm Ultra Plus here. I have a little divot right there, so I want to just inject just a little bit there. And you can see what happened there. A little bit of blood came out as I pushed right in there. Yes, my patients bleed just like your patients. Let me get her, get, let me get her cleaned up here. And they usually bleed for these videos more than anything else. By the way, AFE members, especially you are going to see uh, Lauren, who is working with us, especially in social media. So you may see her in an occasional camera shot as uh, uh, taking some video for social media and you should definitely check the AFE Instagram account and Facebook account where we literally go ahead and post all these things for AFE members to go ahead and use. So you're welcome to that. So if you see Lauren in the shot, uh, that's what she's doing. She's not a random groupie that just came off off the street and is now, you know, just following Nora around, um, you know, looking at looking at random lip enhancements here. Okay, we got Nora cleaned up on her upper lip a little bit, and it's and we were just talking while uh, we took a little break just to clean her up. It's really dry because it is the winter time, and everything is really dry, and sometimes that will go ahead and do this here. Now, let's go ahead and open for me a little bit. Here's where we're going to do the keyhole, uh, the keyhole pout technique here, and this is the way to do it. This is a piece of dental floss, okay? No huge technology here, but if you can see, I put a little knot in that dental floss here. So what I'm going to do is I want her to find her two anterior teeth and kind of floss through and I'm going to pull that and that knot's going to get 
going to get caught right there. And I made it long enough just so it's a little bit obnoxious to her tongue so she'll stay open for me just a little bit. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some light pressure down here. And I'm actually going to let Nora go ahead and hold this. Don't, not too much tension. Just ease up on it just a little bit. Perfect. That's where I want to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, lip filler right in here. Again, here's the wet dry line. Don't let this uh, throw off your anatomy. You don't need to be behind this wet dry line. You want to be anterior to wet dry line, even closer to the vermilion border on this side here because I want this pout to really roll out. But it's going to create, there's going to be this little divot right in, in there because I'm really going to give her a really beautiful pout right in here and in here, and that's where I'm going to go ahead and put some filler. So you're going to feel a little bit of a pinch right here, Nora. And again, with her, we may get a little bit of bleeding, as you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a nice thread of this Juvederm Ultra Plus XC. And then again, I mean, you can see I'm a little bit closer to the vermilion border, and I'm really going to build out that pout, and that looks beautiful already. You can see how this little pillow of, uh, of her lip right here is a little bit fuller than what I've got over here. I'm even going to give her just a tiny bit more on this side right here and really build that out right there. And again, she's going to bleed a little bit, so bear, bear with us here as we get this. And I'm going to go over to the other side. And you just keep the tension on that right there, Nora. I'm going to go ahead and, again, right, especially this little pillow right next to this uh, area right here. That's what I want to accentuate. But I want to make sure she gets a nice lip enhancement all the way across this lip. Let's catch that. And this is this is what's real about these things, folks. It is real. And again, it's it's just a matter of dry. We were talking to Nora, uh, you know, between things. She didn't do any uh, any any alcoholic uh, beverages last night because that'll thin out the blood. Sometimes you'll get a little bit more of that. She's not on any kind of uh, medications that will cause the bleeding. It's just dry everywhere because of the uh, of the winter of the winter time in Cleveland, which by the way, you're all welcome to go ahead and visit any time in the winter in Cleveland because we give lots of courses here at the new Met Spa. Um, they're all during the year. So now I'm going to focus right here and give her a little bit more of that that pillowy effect right here in the middle here. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side here and then we're going to have her just close her lips together after I get her cleaned up so you can see how we've created this really beautiful pout right in here and why this is called the keyhole technique. Now let's take a look at Nora's lips here and now I've got to roll these out a little bit. Open for me just a little bit Nora and I'm just going to kind of roll this. I can feel plenty of filler in there. I don't want to go ahead and uh, massage all this out or flatten this at all. I just want to make sure that there are no lumps or bumps or anything like that. And you and I both know that the lips have an incredible capacity to kind of move things around and smooth themselves out there too. I just want to make sure. And if you can see, there's a slight little bump open for me just a little bit right here. Uh, if you can see that, I'm going to turn your head that way just a little bit. You may have even a little bit of a hematoma, uh, which is, you know, okay, that's part of this procedure there. But I want to feel that with my hands. And just if it is any kind of a real little bump of material, I want to try to smooth it out. And there you see I've smoothed it out quite well. And it's probably just a little hematoma. Now take a look straight on. And you have got this, these really nice lip enhancements. She's a tiny bit swollen. And we let the patients know that. And she's had this before. So she uh, knows that it's a little bit swollen. But now just gently. And she's a little numb these from these lips here too. Just like that. Hold it just like that, Nora. And if you can see and as close as you can get, I'm going to put your chin down just a little bit. But you can see the slightest opening now because she's got these big pillows of, uh, of the lip and the lip filler right in here that's supporting that and giving her just a little bit of a keyhole right in front. And that's the kind of lip enhancement that she wanted with a nice, beautiful pout. And you'll see this even better. Just put your chin down a little bit more. You'll see this even better in the after photos uh, there as well here. So we've accomplished what we wanted. It doesn't take much time, but just taking a little piece of 
horizontal floss and separating this and instead of you know really enhancing this valley that naturally many people have and really increasing the the uh, the M part of this as you many of you are familiar with the AFE V to M technique here um, you are able to really accentuate this pout give them give them this little keyhole pout lip augmentation that uh, has become very popular <music>